Okay, this is going to be Twinkle Variations and Theme. But we're starting off with the theme because now everything is going to be joined up so that there are no stops in between the notes. Wow, it's going to be hard for a posture. You'll see. So start off um, in rest position, and here's where you make your beautiful bow hold. Thumb on the, on the ferrule. Wrap your middle fingers around, pinky on the top and first finger between the first and second joints. Bend your thumb and curve your pinky. Okay, and then put your feet apart. Relax your knees. Get your violin up high on your shoulder. Make sure you can hold it comfortably, not tight, tightly. Make a beautiful tunnel. Prepare your left hand with a soft, 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 soft tunnel. And your helicopters. So this is twinkle theme. This is where you have to get your bow and fingers coordinated together. So we go very slowly. And instead of using the small amount between the tapes, we're going to use more bow. So it'll sound like this. actually do, this is what you have to think about as you play. You have to think about bow parallel to the bridge, one on the corner, nice beautiful parallel to the bridge bowing, elbow under, set your three, Keep your helicopters in soft tunnel and be parallel to the bridge with your bow. So you can do it the first way, but you must do it many, 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 many times in order to get coordinated. And coordination is really, really important in the violin. And Some people can do it in two times, but most people take ten. I myself take about fifteen to twenty times, so whatever it takes. Okay, here's the middle section. So in the same way, bow parallel. And softly. Your turn. See if you can keep your beautiful tunnel and helicopters and beautiful bowing and sound. And then we return to the A section. First finger on the corner. Elbow under, drop three, have your helicopters be parallel to the bridge. like this. Don't end like this. Because, you know, that's, between you and me, that's not very musical. So we want to really feel the music when we end. Okay, then you take that same joined up twinkle theme and, and apply it to your variations. So again, you make your beautiful bow hold in your beautiful left hand posture. And for everybody down up, this time no stops. Whoa! for you to join up like that, um, I suggest that you go slower. I'll do that in the next variation. I stop and you stop. 
So make your beautiful. The idea is not to get tight, not to do a duck, not to let everything go out of control. We want to have all of your posture beautifully coordinated. So, stop. On the corner, parallel to the bridge and scissors. Elbow under. Helicopter. Even though we're playing this beautiful music, we're still thinking all the time about what we're doing in order to keep everything going the right way. Next variation is the same idea. I'm going to start in the middle. This is a challenge. See if you can remember the first part. I'm going to start right in the middle of same. They just, you just get more practice in coordinating your left and right hands. And here is the beginning of Washington, Washington. So check your knees, make sure they're nice and loose. Check your tunnel, nice and loose. that much and then go on to the B section and the return of the A. And then here is Fatter Than a Caterpillar. Keep thinking scissors and beautiful left hand posture. All the way to the very end. So at your lesson, you can hear the whole piece, and you can also hear it on the CD. The most important thing is always thinking very carefully about your beautiful left hand posture, your bow hold, how your bow is moving, and most important, most important, beautiful musical sound. If we don't have a beautiful musical sound, well, we shouldn't be doing violin, but since we love violin and we love our beautiful sounds, let's go for it.